what's going on guys so on this one you know, I was talking with a guy at work you know he watches my videos and you know he asked me what was going on <clears throat> so yeah I'm about to start working on the Cougar and he asked me whether or not I was going to take it down to bare metal I said no I really want to drive it so I was thinking about just sanding it down priming it and then painting over what was on there well I didn't want to go through all that work but it just looks like I ended up having to do it anyway so <sighs> I got it completely tore down I started off with this quarter panel and that was just <sighs> that was just fun I got some of that oil from the convertible top so I got the convertible top out I got the windows out yesterday and it was pretty humid out. So anyway, started with this one. Lots of repairs. I got to do that. I did pop out that one dent that was over there. <sighs> So then I came over here to the door. This car has had one hell of a life. <laughs> then to the fender. Every single panel that I did on this car, it had Bondo on it. <sighs> and then I got this. I knew that there was Bondo here, but I didn't know it was that bad uh, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that because it's right there on that crease so yes took it down to bare metal front ends off this side was it the panel still did have Bondo on it but this was the best side of this whole car <laughs> was able to get pull that out a little bit I'm gonna go in there with a uh, hammer and dolly by the time I get done with this car I should be hammer and dolly freaking certified But this car has had, this car has been through a lot. You know, but I, there's the uh, deck lid. Wanted to kind of, there's the rust spot. None of it had rust on it. I didn't pull any rust off of this car. So it was all basically just paint. But I wanted to pull this off. As you can see, this thing's been painted one, I think that's a different color two three four times and then I gotta put this back on so I can actually try and pull these dents out with the um, Vivor because with it off I think it when, when I try to pop it out I think it's just gonna it's just gonna move and it needs something stable so I gotta put it back on but today I'm basically going to sand this rust off. I'm going to get this, that, basically take care of the rest of it, and then take care of that, get that all set. So basically the goal of this, before it actually starts to get cold yeah there's the galaxy it's away for the winter needs an exhaust 
the headliner put back on. Um, what else? Exhaust, headliner, oh, and the um, seat covers. And then I gotta fix that. I don't know what happened. I was able to open the door, but then when I got everything put back on, I came over here, opened the driver's side door, and it popped that. So make sure you put your fenders all the way on before you start opening doors and stuff like that. But like I said, it wasn't doing that when I was opening it up before. For some reason, it just stayed firm in its location, and I ended up opening it up and pop. So I'm going to have to fix that next year. That's not too bad. I'm not too worried about it, but I'm going to have to sand that down a little bit. And when I primer the Cougar... I'll hit that and get that ready for next year. But yeah, I will be vinegar watering this thing. I hate vinegar watering, but something that I need to do. I am going to take the fenders off. I am going to take the doors off because I wasn't I wasn't really planning on painting this a different color, but I might as well. If I'm going to take all this stuff off, I might as well, you know, and I'm not going to take any of this down to bare metal. I'm just going to sand it, prime it. But something I found yesterday. Look at that, it's got two sets of carpets in here. Very weird. I don't know whether or not that was kind of silly to do or if it was genius because I'm kind of thinking that that would actually really help with your heat. So maybe that's what their idea was. But as far as the color goes, I don't know. It's not going to be red, that's for sure. I'm not painting it red. Red's expensive. I mean, just for the paint that I got, the three quarts I think I got for the red, for the top for the 66, I think that was like 200 bucks, a little over 200 bucks just for the paint, just for three quarts of that. So it was like, all right, what do I do? What color do I paint it? I'm not painting it the yellow because this car was originally medium ginger with that yellow, whatever that yellow is. I don't even think they call it a yellow. So um, I've got black door panels. The center console is black. And you can get seat covers for this thing, which you can get black. You can change the carpet out to black. And really the only thing that I'll have to paint is just the dash. Get some of that dye and spray paint it black. <sighs> the color I'm kind of thinking, and I know a lot of people will probably disagree and probably hate my choice of color on this, I want to paint it green. Not a metallic green or anything like that, but I'm thinking a dark green, and a lot of people might not like it. Some people just don't like green cars. I, on the other hand, I tend to, I, I like green cars. So I'm thinking green, black interior, and then it'll have the white top. I know you kind of, you'd kind of rather have like a black top with that type of color combo, but... The only top I've got that was brand new that came with the car was white. I was thinking about maybe painting it yellow, white interior with the white top, that would look nice. But white interior? No. I mean, I could take I could technically do black stay, stay with the black interior, paint it yellow with the white top. I'm not much, that was a big frog, 
I'm not much of a yellow fan. He must have fell out. Now he's trying to get back in. Look at the frog. Blah, blah, blah. Big frog. Buffo frog. Hi, Buffo. Blam! <laughs> Same within here. Just going to sand it down. Prime it. Got to take that off. figure out how that comes off too. Interesting. I guess you just kind of pull those out. Fun days ahead. And I do have another fender, but when I started sanding this fender down, it's got Bondo in it too. And then I gotta fix the rust, and then it's got a, a rust hole down there, so I'd have to put in a patch. So, and I don't think that's the original fender either, because if you look at the inside of this, That's like a gray color. And if you look at this one, that's got the original color on it. So I think that fender was whammied before, or the original fender was whammied before. They pulled that off and put this one on and whew, lots of fun. The other thing that I did do to the Galaxy, well actually both of them, I put those halo lights on and then I also added the um, relays. Funny thing with those relays, if you do, and you know, if you do order those relays, don't go off of the color combo of the connector because that's where I made my mistake on that one I kinda went with the colors you know black is ground red is power I wired it up like that and when I would turn the brights on they would flicker so I'm looking all over and then finally I said, you know what, I wonder if those, I wonder if it's really actually wired right. So I flipped the relay over and the wires were all freaking, black was like, uh, the spot where they had the black was 12 volt, the red was the ground. So I had to switch the red, I had to pull the pins out, switch the red. Uh, switch the white. I think I I think the yellow was the only one that was right. Switch the white, switch the red, switch the black. And I think I had to pull the blue out. Maybe. But I had to line it up to where the pins. And then I went online where eBay, because I mean it was only six of them, so I got two for that, two for this one, and two for that. And they were like 12 bucks. And even on the picture... You know, I got them off of eBay. Even on the picture of the wire connectors weren't even anything like what I got. So, if you're going to get those and you're going to hook them up, pay attention to the pins. Don't pay attention to the wires and then line your wires up. If your, pin, if your connectors are off, pay attention to the, pay attention to the pins. And then pop the wires off of their thing and then kind of hook it up that way. So that was fun to freaking diagnose. That took a freaking, had no idea what the hell was happening. And then I think 
I think I started, I got a clue when I disconnected everything. Well, I didn't disconnect everything. I disconnected the ground, the black wire, and then I turned my headlights on and my headlights came on. And I was like, that shouldn't happen because I was kind of thinking with it flickering, maybe it was, maybe I got a bad ground somewhere. And pulled the ground off the black wire and turned the headlights on. I'm like, they should not be on because I was going to experiment with different grounds that I had on that. And that's when I popped the pin, the relay out and said, wow, the wires don't line up with the pins. So, well, rambling on is done. It's time for a little bit of work. I want to get this done because we really don't, I mean, technically speaking, I got a, got a couple months, but, you know, I really want to try to get this knocked out as quick as I can. This is going to be tough, too, because the line is right here, too, and it's flat there, and then you got the body line there, so it's, and you can't get quarters for this. I even looked up the Mustang to see whether or not you can kind of, because it basically is, it's, you, you can basically interchange most of the parts from the Mustang to the Cougar, but when you look at the when you look at the Mustang uh, quarter panel, there's a body line right here, and if I really want, I mean, I could probably make it work, but like I said, I mean, they're a little bit interchangeable, but we'll be hammering and dolly into that and. I got a hammer and dolly the fender. So, might as well keep it the way that it is. And, I mean, regardless of what I, what I do, this fender is going to be, it's going to have a lot of bondo on it. Hopefully not thick. I don't think it'll lay in, I don't, I don't think it'll be too thick. Because when I was sanding this, I was pouring, pulling off the paint, then a layer of Bondo, then a layer of paint, and then a layer of Bondo. So, <laughs> so fun, fun times. And it really didn't take that long to kind of put this thing down to bare metal. Let's see, it took me, started over there. I think I got to right about here. And that was one day. Got this. That was two days. Then I did the fender and the door. That was three. And then this, th this quarter. And that, which was four. So, and today will be number five. So about five days it basically took me. I mean, could have taken me a, sh a shorter amount of time to get it down to bare metal. Yeah, if I would have just stayed out here, but sanding's not fun at all. You know, hopefully this is the this will be the last time I do this. But all right, guys. Enjoy your labor day as I will. You have a good one. Peace. Okay, peace out. <laughs>